everybody. I'm so nervous to get on here. I feel like I haven't been in this setting. Here is like one of the top earners. She's kind of like the top dog over there. And she says, oh my gosh, this girl from the West Coast didn't know that she needed an actual crown and a sash in her life. You know, I hang out with a lot of Southern girls. My whole team is like Southern girls. And I know they respect the crown. Like they understand the crown and the sash. Like a lot of them have been in beauty pageants probably their whole life, but I have not. Okay. Like, um, oh, I have for not. me, I was like, what is happening here? There's crowns over there and sashes. I mean, I didn't expect to get that kind of treatment, but so one thing I took on my trip that I did not try before is this oil. I got it right before they gifted it to me as a founder of the One company. One thing about being a founder of this company, they send you everything um, basically that's coming new to the catalog before everybody else. So the founders get those things. So like, I don't know. It smells like dried up, dried flowers. It really does smell like old dried flowers. But this stuff saved my face. So if you guys don't know, I really don't like creams on my face. Um, I like oils because I tend to get really dry skin. And I just like that oils give you a beautiful glow. And also oils help you move your uh, makeup around. And then you can set your makeup and then keep it where it needs to go. So don't be afraid to use an oil. Your makeup will not slide up your, off your face if you set it correctly. I have all pharmacy makeup on. It is so beautiful. It stands up to those stage lights. You guys saw me on stage. I have a favorite thing, and I've been using it since I got back. I tried a little bit on Lucy's psoriasis. She has it on her arm and in her head, and um, already the redness is kind of going down. However, you know, with psoriasis, it always just tends to kind of come back, so I will be using this on her a lot and trying to see if it helps her, okay? But my face at night from wearing makeup and just being out and then scrubbing it all the time would be kind of red from traveling, everything. Like my skin was just kind of like, I hate you because I don't usually put on makeup every day. But for the trip, I did. And it saved my face every night. So right before bed, I just slathered it on my face and I jumped in bed. And then in the morning, I put it right on before my makeup. It's like $27 or something. It is the best, most amazing product. And I have not tr tried the rose oil yet. However, some, sometimes rose oil bothers people. This is not, it's going to be something that it will not bother 99% of the people because it's supposed to help heal and it's supposed to help um, reduce irritation in those things. So you can use it on your babies. So if you're a mom, like this would be the go-to, like keep it in your purse, keep it in the bathrooms, use it on your vanity, like everything. It's off the table. <laughs> I was really, I was like, no one will notice if I take it. <laughs> And I like took it off the table because I was like, they don't need an American flag in Turkey. I'm just going to put this in my luggage. So I took this off the table. And um, so if pharmacy is wondering where one of their things went, I, I don't know where it went. I don't, I don't know. This just ended up in my bag. And I figured the word, the other thing I could change it to earrings, you know, like I have a lot of pride now. Like I, you know, if you guys don't know, Turkey is all about their flag. Well, you know, I'm just trying to do my part. <laughs> I need a Turkish one. Maybe I can get them to send me the turkey flag too, but I didn't want to take that because there's so many people in the room who probably wanted one, but I hope God forgives me. I did, you know, I did it. I did it. I did it. But you know, I live up to my myself. So I'm going to stick that somewhere back there. So a couple cool things happen, guys. A couple cool things happen. I have no lipstick on right now. During, I have not put the video up of the factory. I have lots of footage to put together for you guys. It is so big. It's like three floors of like goodness. So if you ever think that pharmacy is small, uh, no. Well, any picture you've seen, I, 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 I did my homework. When I joined this company, I, I went to every person at pharmacy who had hashtag pharmacy and I went to every page searching for anything I could see because I wanted to see what the factory was like. I'm like, is this going to be ghetto? Like, I mean, where's my makeup coming from? What's happening over there? Like, don't just show me the glam stuff. Like, I want to see where everything is. You know, I was concerned. So like I, I scoured and scoured. I could not find anything bad. So I said, okay, you know, it's got to be pretty cool. Like I'm going to will myself into that showroom where all the makeup, I'm going to will myself there. God, if you love Christina Hernandez and you know she loves her makeup, please, please let me be in that showroom just once in my life because like that room was built for me. I mean, I believe that. Like, you know, they don't have a sister. They have a beautiful, their mother, oh, she's very sweet. When you come into someone's presence and they're just really warm, she just had the most beautiful smile. The father was the same way. 
but he is a lot more um uh the boss like you could feel like when you were in his presence he's the boss like boss of the company so like you just have this mad respect for him but he had this beautiful smile sanan and amre uh do not have a sister so i you know like i'm i could you know i could i like big families i'm willing to be adopted i don't put that out there that much guys you know i'm very picky about who i would be adopted by i don't i don't mind i mean i, I they can put in an application i will think about it maybe i'll join their family i don't know but you know the they've got you know they've got what it takes they've got the money they've got the makeup they've got the makeup they've got the makeup a factory that can make me any makeup i want like so i will take the application into consideration so i did put that out there if they want a 40 year old sister i'm, I'm game but they're in their 20s guys so basically i could be their mother like they are babes they're like not we know they're hot but i mean like they're babes like <laughs> like they're babies and they're gorgeous but they're on top of being gorgeous and being babes and hot, holy hotness they are wonderful inside so their warm their warmth shines through um to, uh, when the coffee comes to the usa i believe is at the beginning i just have so much in my head i mean i my my i tr was trying to take it all in because i wanted to pour it out to you guys and share it with you you have no concerns like they're there is no concerns at all about how I feel about this, this company. Like, I feel like my, my, this is my home. You know, this is like, and I, I hate to say that because, you know, Christina Hernandez does not like to say, this is my home. But no, this is a company that feels like family and they make you feel. Just had the most epic, amazing experience and there is just no doubt in my mind that we, this is the place. This is absolutely the place to be. They are global. They are going everywhere. They're going to be all over. Like it's not just, oh, they're in Turkey. They're going to be everywhere, but they're, ha they're going, Sanan is moving to New York City and they're opening the warehouse. They're looking for the right warehouse space right now. Offices, um, I would suppose, for him and then um they plan to build a, uh, a a manufacturing plant out in here in the u.s okay so like we have that going for us too because there's certain things that they can't bring over from turkey over here so they have to abide by the u.s laws and so i suppose that's why they're going to build a facility but they said it was going to be bigger than the one that they have and i was like holy cow because this was like three floors of like goodness like my whole life i've been looking for this you know um the the other top leaders were uh classy and gracious and just very this is not like a company where you know there's a, they take it everything very serious and that's what i like i like that they're they're warm and inviting but at the same time this is business and you don't get in i don't know there's just something very different about this company so i just have, we are have mad growth right now like wicked mad growth we add i think about every day to the team we're adding about 100 to 200 people if not more i haven't when we were there they allowed us to make any color lipstick that we wanted so i picked a red because you know red is my thing and um they they let everyone choose like whatever they wanted so i just kind of put a color together that i thought i would like It's a very, very pretty, pretty, pretty color. I was like, you really need to put this color in your line. Like you really need to do that right now. Right? Isn't it pretty? I love it. Maybe I can convince them. Isn't it pretty? Do you like it? I love it so much. So this is my very own, my very own color. And I just, it's, I think it's so pretty. So of course, of course, cause I mean, in my laboratory where I got to make my own lipstick. I always knew that I was meant to have a crown. I'm not kidding. I wore this all night. That that was mine. I got to wear that on stage. So apparently you get one of you get a crown when you do well. And that hello. I got this. So I'm gonna have to find like a case that I can put this in because you know I'm gonna put it up there, full display right behind me. Look. See, don't I look like now I look extra.
This has been like my whole life. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. My whole life, I didn't know I needed a sash and a crown, but I do. And you do too. So if any of you guys want to work really hard, really, really hard, you can have one too. I'm not joking. You can have one too. If you knew what I knew, you would know that it's a lot more simple than you think. It's a lot of consistency. It's a lot of um never giving up it's a lot of quiet periods it's a lot of stuff where people don't believe in you but you just keep going and you just believe in yourself and so you know what the best part is that I haven't always believed in myself but you guys believed in me more than I did and a lot of you guys told me don't worry Christina someday you'll have it all back you'll have it more and I was like is that even possible is it possible to have more than i had before i don't think so and this guy shows me that anything in life is possible if i cannot be the example to, for you guys of, of making it failing failing <laughs> failing not failing in the sense i always got a title but i'm you know in i was in my head i was like failing and this this solidifies that if you just keep going even if that means I got to change a company, I got to change a company, I got to, you know how many teams I've let go of? I have let go of full on teams and rebuilt over and over again. Girlfriend, consistency is when you build a routine in your life. So there is not a day I don't go, I don't care if people like my posts or not, but I know that the, but the content I put out there is good because I think about it. I've been up since 2 a.m. because I'm on Turkish time still, and I've been working, 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 working. And it's also, I love the sisterhood of direct sales, but I'm, I'm, I'm not the sisterhood. I'm here for, and this is very serious, I'm here for work. I'm here to grow leadership underneath me. I'm not here to be your best friend. I love you. I do. I will treat you like, you know, with love and, and, and you know, care, and I will love on you, but... I am not a boss. I am a mentor. And I am here to mentor women who want more for their life. I am here to mentor people who are in any type of situation because I've been in them all. I have a mentor too. And I'm like ride or die in your corner, but also someone he, who can call you on your stuff and say, you're not living up to your expectations. Now that makes it hard because a lot of people, you know, they get pissy with me, you know, like they get mad at me. But that's what a good mentor does. They just kind of push you just a little bit. But there's also an expectation that you meet me somewhere. Like, I don't chase people to work. You come to me, we will talk, you know, but I don't chase people. So I'm, I'm not a boss. I'm a mentor to you guys. So I grow a team where people can come to me and we can, like, navigate through things From together. Like there's going to be times where no one wants to join you and no one believes in you. And it starts in your home. Believe it or not, it starts in your home and um, Carlos and I have had all out fights about this business, you know, but I always stood my ground and I demand support in my home with this. And a lot of times you guys don't have like that critical support that you need. So not only do you not have a team, sometimes you don't even have your family supporting you and it's up to you to be strong enough to really demand your corner of the home to work a business. And then it's up to you to take these like whiteboards, you see a whiteboard right there? and fill them out and get going. And when, in you know, a map doesn't draw itself, you know, you have to draw that map and sometimes you have to delete spots. You and don't get all this without having rewritten that map. It's okay to company hop. In fact, the best education, you'll never hear leaders tell you this, the best education ever is company hopping because it, it allows you to see different comp plans, experience different leadership, different rules. Like you learn, like I have been through network marketing. It's true. You have to be a pit bull for your own future. And any one of you guys can have this. I mean that. Like any one of you guys is capable of this. And even when I was sitting there in the audience and they had like, you know, these all out and you're like, I don't think I'm worthy of that. Like, I'm probably not, I'm probably going to get a handshake. I really felt like my, I just got here. I'm probably going to get a handshake from the company um, because there's so many leaders who've been working so, so, so long. And I'm just new here. I didn't just get a crown. I got my own time. I got to talk, you know, I got to wear, I wore a $40 dress guys. My dress was 40 bucks. And I took it up there and I, you know, went up there with my smile and I just said, thank you because I felt really honored to be there and I felt thankful for being there. And I just, when I was up there, I was, in, I was envisioning that 
every single person on my team deserves so this when too. we have our own convention uh, beauty mavens will have its own leadership re uh, uh, awards and i believe that every person on my team who hits certain levels so deserves this, this that, um we got um you get this like plaque like this okay and it has my name on it and it's the company is 69 years old and so we got this um it's like a plate so we got this too so we just got really really spoiled and on top of that i get this great paycheck and i get my self-esteem and my confidence back i mean it's taken a long time for me to get that back inside me and pharmacy imagine like you're on critical life support and you're you're gasping for air and then somebody comes along and like puffs into your lungs and you you just your whole body like fills up you know like a little puffer fish you know with just this new life new breath and that's what this company really gave to me and i want it i want this company to do that for you too